DiBiase comes out. Oh, here we go. This was a work the, of art. This, this actually, was actually my favorite thing on the entire the, show. This was also great. I forgot about this. How? I don't know. Oh, but of I'm, all people, too. And my hero, Cameron Grimes. You're the, you're the, you're the, you're the president of his fan club. And and, I, I was and it was the best thing on the show, and you still forgot about it. That's all true. DiBiase comes out for the million dollar title presentation. He has an LA Knight video. That's a combination of the uh, the uh, pre show video he aired in the big fancy house with the with the ladies, and LA arrives in another fancy ass new car. Cigar in mouth, struts on down to the ring to his entrance. And this was Sean Ricker. This is not L.A. Knight. Talks about meeting your heroes. He, he, and he, he and Regal were both so great at making you believe it was out of character. But one guy was wasn't swerve, sincere. Yes, one guy and was, the other guy was a swerve. L.A. Knight did a great job of swerving you and making you think this was all sincere. I don't know about that. Well, <laughs> The problem was he went too long. Did he? Yeah, he just kept going and going and going and going and going. And after a while, it was like, bro, get to the get to the swerve, buddy. I see. So he's talking about meeting your heroes. They say never meet your heroes, but I met mine. And then I was told I might carry on his legacy. You got to understand, when I watched wrestling with my dad, the Million Dollar Man was always on TV. When I played wrestling with my friends, one of us always had to be the Million Dollar Man. I needed you here tonight to express my gratitude and say thank you. Winning that Million Dollar title was the greatest moment of my wrestling career. It would be the honor of my life if you would crown me champion. Dude, he may be right. I, actually, I'm, he's I'm trying hundred, to think of a bigger Eli Drake moment. No, it's not. It's not, not coming there's to There's not me. one. This is, this is the biggest moment of his career. So DiBiase agrees. He grabs the Million Dollar Belt out of the uh, podium or whatever in the corner. He drapes it across L.A.'s shoulder. And the pyro is going off. They're taking turns trading cackles. It's awesome. But then L.A. says, I, I've gotten everything I want. And now that I have everything I want, it's time to drop what I don't need. And he punches the Million Dollar Man. And for the first time in probably close to 20 years, the Million Dollar Man takes a flat back bump in a ring. Dude, I think it was like 26 years or something like that. And the reason he retired was because he had a bad neck. Yes. And so I was just... It was the greatest fucking bump. It was. I mean, it made this thing... Like, if he would have taken a shitty bump, it would have been... Like, the segment would have still been good. But, like, when he took that bump, my breath was taken away. <laughs> like, holy shit, Teddy DiBiase just took a giant bump. He's killed him. And then he... And then I almost called him Eli Drake. Then uh, L.A. Knight starts throwing these stomps. And they're, they're light stomps. He's working his stomps. I mean, he's not trying to kill a guy or anything like that, but... He starts stomping this guy, and these fans are fucking pissed. Because I talked about this with Dave. Remember that Legends Night? Yes. Where they humiliated the big show, who, by the way, is now doing commentary for AEW just yes. mere months later? They just humiliate these legends, and they make them out to be dorks and senile, and they think it's 15 years ago. It's just horrible. They have not done that for one moment with DiBiase. No. DiBiase shows up, and he's an all-time legend. And Cameron Grimes, is he's trying to buy the nicest watch in town, and Ted DiBiase humiliates him. And then he's bidding on this house, and Ted DiBiase outbids him by $12 million, by the way. Yes. So Ted DiBiase has been like a star throughout all of this. And and even though I, I don't even know if Ted DiBiase is supposed to be a, a babyface or a heel... I mean, he's wanting a protege among these two heels, so maybe he's supposed to be a heel. But one way or the other, like, he's helped facilitate this great angle in storyline. He's brought his belt back. He's the one that announced the ladder match. He's giving his belt to the winner. Like, this fucking guy's a big deal on this NXT show. And when LA Knight turned on him and punched him, it wasn't like when you watch Raw and you just think that the people that write the show are a bunch of shitheads because of the way they treat their legends. It was heat on L.A. Knight. Mm -hmm. And he starts stomping on DiBiase. And I'm not saying the fancy fan gets real, but like the heat is on L.A. Knight. The heat is real. Fuck you! Why are you kicking Ted DiBiase? And then, because there's so much heat on this guy for this, this beatdown, 
Cameron Grimes hits the ring. I'll say. Oh my god. I don't know. There are like 200 people in this building, but there may as well have been a million. They fucking went crazy. And they're screaming. And they're, yeah, they're so happy to see this guy. And he made the best comeback of his fucking life. Oh my I don't god, care how awesome. many PWG matches fucking guys had. This was the greatest comeback of his life. And Eli's bumping all over the place. And Cameron Grimes' hair's flying all over. And he's a house of fire. And he clotheslines this guy over the top rope. And the place is losing their shit. This was the best thing I've seen on, on NXT. I can't even tell you how long. It was awesome. My hero, Cameron Grimes, was in fact the, the, the white meat baby face here. And again, for not the first time on this show, we now know clearly LA Knight is the heel. Yes. Cameron Grimes, boy, is he ever a baby face. Yes. And when they started this thing... Clarification is a good thing. When they started this thing... Cameron Grimes was supposed to be a heel. That was the plan. But the fans clearly love Cameron Grimes, much like you do, Vinny. How, who and, not? And they who, saw... Who wouldn't love Cameron especially Grimes? Especially when he cut that promo about, it's great being rich where you can treat people like shit and they'll still like you. Yeah. And the fans go, yeah, we love this guy. He's right. <laughs> That's when I'm sure they knew we can't fucking make this guy a heel. So they didn't. They made him a, a baby face. It's a miracle. They shot a fucking great angle. I mean, this was just awesome. This was awesome professional wrestling. And at the end of the day, that's all I want to see. I just want to see good fucking pro wrestling. <laughs> that's what this was. Wouldn't that be nice? If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.